bookworms, this is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. In our story today, Socket the Robot meets Wiggle the Mouse, and they head off on a fun-filled adventure. And along the way, they learn what friendship is all about. Let's enjoy the magic of reading as we read together Socket the Friendly Robot, written by Zachary Horrocks and Pauline Chesnicki, and learn what can happen when you help others. The sun was rising on the scrapyard. A robot opened his eyes and looked out on the beautiful day. What a wonderful day, he thought. But who am I? The robot looked all around and saw his shiny parts. He moved his robot arm up and down and smiled. I must be a robot. What a wonderful day to be a robot, he said. Hello, Mr. Robot, said a squeaky voice. The robot turned and saw a little mouse with a pretty bow in her hair. Hello, Miss Mouse, he said. My name is Wiggle, said the mouse, because I love to dance. Wiggle started to shake her little tail back and forth. What's your name? asked Wiggle. Well, I just don't know, said the robot. Wiggle hopped up on the robot and looked around. Your name is Socket, she said excitedly. It says so right here on your belly. Look, right there, guys. Socket, said the robot. I love my name. Socket started to move back and forth and spin and spin. Let's dance. Wiggle and Socket danced and danced until they couldn't dance anymore. Wiggle stopped and put her arms out to her sides. So dizzy, she said. Socket tried to copy Wiggle, but something was different. You have one arm, said Wiggle. I do, and it's my favorite, Socket said happily. Do you want another arm, asked Wiggle. It's your choice. Yes said Socket. I think I'll try one and see how it feels. Well, it's settled, said Wiggle. Today we will find you a second arm. So off they went. Wiggle jumped up on Socket's shoulder and pointed the way. They went deeper and deeper into the scrapyard. They passed stacks of old cars and piles of tin cans. They tried and tried to make things fit, but nothing felt quite right. They tried a rake, but it was too pokey. <laughs> right there, guys. They tried pipes and poles and wires and wheels, but nothing <laughs> felt like an arm should feel. And then they saw it. Look, look, Wiggle said as she pointed to the bottom of a rusty barrel. It must be my hand, Socket said with a smile. Wiggle jumped down and ran to the bottom of the barrel. It is your hand, yelled Wiggle as she pulled it free. It has fingers and even a thumb, Wiggle said as she pulled it towards Socket. I love it, said Socket, but how will it stay on? Wiggle dove into the scrap pile and disappeared. I'll be right back, she shouted. There was a click and a clang, and then out popped Wiggle with a long, curly spring. Socket reached out his robot arm and took the spring. Wiggle lifted with all of her might and stuck the baseball glove on tight. With a twist and a click, Socket's arm was complete. They jumped and danced with joy. He smiled as big as robot can smile. Socket handed Wiggle a flower. Thank you for all your wonderful help, he said. Wiggle jumped up on Socket's shoulder and gave him a hug. Both Wiggle and Socket knew that this was the beginning of a long friendship. 
the sun began to set on the scrapyard. Wiggle and Socket learned that by helping others, you make amazing new friends. enjoyed this story, please check it out at your local library or buy a copy from your favorite bookstore.